What up, Doe Connors? It is time for Donkey Kong's Bodyguard Recruitment Test Week 3. This time, the advantageous category is Accelerated Battle. Now, once again, we're going to try to clear all of the missions. All you have to do is clear the stage once to get the main mission, which is getting the ticket. But then if you want to score as many rewards as possible, you have to hit 77.77 million damage on a single attack. This can be done just once on any target within a unit. The advantageous category makes for an easier time because the damage increase is effective on that category, but you don't have to use that one. So last week, I saw a lot of comments saying because they couldn't find a good enough Dragon Ball Seeker unit to do the damage, they actually ended up using a GT Heroes unit, actually more specifically, GT Super Saiyan Goku, who destroyed the Dragon Ball Seekers event. So ironically enough, he happens to be an accelerated battle, so he will be a go-to for this one. But for next week, if you do struggle to find a good GT boss character, Consider just bringing GT Super Saiyan Goku or whatever other unit that you've been using that's been helping you through this far. Could probably help you on that one too. So we're going to try to do the same thing as we've done on the previous two videos. One run on each one with each type. Some of them may be successful, some of them may not. But I'm going to use the Accelerated Battle category. So I've got a couple of teams ready. So we're going to start with my tech team because I feel like this one's actually going to be a pretty good one. My tech squad has the Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku. Now, if you filter up by Accelerated Battle... There are actually a lot more options to choose from than either of the previous two weeks. You've got some really good options, so I won't be able to cover every single one. I am just picking some of the ones that I would, you know, kind of focus on or want to try out. So I'm going to try the Super Saiyan 4 full power. This guy is relevant right now because of Chain Battle, plus the new Dokkan Festival that we had recently. So I figured let's give this guy a moment to shine. This guy has an extra attack bonus because we're at full health. Keep that in mind. So this guy is actually going to be pretty effective. So this is the squad. I've got a support, 40% support. I've got double orb changer. I've got a single orb changer and a support in one. And I've got a multiple turn support. So the setup is pretty good, but the RNG may not be. So I'm going to try to run this until I can get a good enough setup. And that might involve me having to pause the video for a second, because I'd rather not have to subject right, you guys to this. just sitting there watching this over and over and over. And okay, we don't have orb changing. We don't have the double orb changing. But we do have some nice setups for the following turn. The question is, can we get anything good here? I don't know. This is not looking pretty good. Next rotation, we will have one orb changing take place. Let's see if that would be enough. I don't know. I'm not feeling I'm not feeling very good about this one. I'm not going to lie. This one. This one looks pretty bad. This one looks pretty bad. All right, let's just do this. Let's see if we can maybe if the the blue orbs change to green maybe that might be the best case scenario all right all right sure sure oh we got oh wait actually oh that might have been even better oh that's perfect because now i get the i get the boost i get to bring all the greens together oh that was the best case scenario for me okay so we're picking up 11 orbs along with the Bulma boost and a 50% boost as well. This could be a really good turn. Now, unfortunately, my Super Saiyan 4 full power is not spec for crit. He's spec for additional, but I do have a 22% chance for a critical. How many links are we getting? Fierce Battle? I think that's it. Okay. Fierce Battle gives us another attack plus 20%. So let's see what we can do with this. If we get a critical, I'm pretty sure we clear. If we don't, I think we'll be either really, really close or still hit it. And by the way, once again, let me reiterate, you do not need the 50% supports. They are not by any means mandatory. They make the runs more consistent. That's all. But you can... Oh, it was 69.8 million. Are you serious, bro? Okay, if I picked up more orbs, we would have been fine. That's all it is. That's all it is. I got basically 70 million damage. We couldn't quite clear it, but that was the first one. So it was a good run. All I have to do is reset a couple more times. Once I get the proper setup, the green team would be able to do it. So that is run number one. Let's run this back and take this on with a couple of more, couple more types. All right, so now we are bringing an in squad with double Beerus, and my main attacking unit is going to be the LR Rosé. I've heard a couple of you guys use this unit in the past, so I want to see if we can get some good damage. This guy is not specced out for critical at all. So with that in mind, I want to see how much damage he can dish out. And I don't have the greatest setup here because we have no support. All we have are these five links. Is it five links? Yeah, we'll have five links. No, four links. 
so that's pretty much all we're gonna get we've got 10 orbs the thing about this unit is that he gets more attack and defense with each key rising so i think this should be enough i think this should be enough but let's see i think this should be able to do it even without a critical i don't know though man we were so close with that super saiyan 4 full power such a bummer I mean, okay, we're at 28 million attacks. That I think we got this. This guy has done stupid damage in every other video that I've used him on. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So this guy, yeah. No critical needed. We still cleared. Oh! Woo! He still keeps going. Okay, this guy really wants to show off now. All right. We almost hit 77 million across three hits. So there you go. That is obviously a clear i was about to end the run i can't do that because i need this to count to give me the points to give me the missions so let me go ahead and just uh finish this run and then we'll move on to the next one i want to keep this in the video though i want to show the the mission completes okay i hear you guys i saw the comments one or one or two of you guys had said rose yeah i mean why am i even surprised when i did his showcase for the first time with his eza he was doing stupid numbers so of course he was going to do that here. Now, you may not necessarily have the unit rainbowed. You may not have the same setup. But with enough RNG and resets, you will eventually get into a favorable position where you can do that sort of damage. And you will still be able to achieve the 77 million. So there we go. We're done. Let's get out of here. And that gives me my mission complete in two runs. In type, no less. All right. So that clears the rest. Let's move on to the next type. All right, so now we are on the AGL team and I've got double Frieza as the lead. My supports, I only have, well, I have two supports. I got Kid Buu 50% and I've got the Pan 50%. And then for the orb changers, I got Pan, I got the seven or the 17. What is wrong with me? Trunks and Gohan and the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Super Saiyan 2 Goku actually is on the accelerated battle category as well, but he doesn't have a starting passive. So while he does have a nuking passive, I would just like to have some sort of a baseline and i'm curious to see how much this guy can do because this guy has an attack plus 159 to start he then gets attack and defense plus 10 percent per key sphere obtained he gets an extra attack and defense plus seven per rainbow key sphere so or sorry that's uh that's critical but the critical does go up with each rainbow key sphere obtained what is this critical right now 10. so i feel like this guy's gonna do some really really good damage especially considering we're picking up 13 agl key spheres and we've got three rainbows in there so let's see how much we can do with this guy so we'll have this one go for actually wait for the super attack the ultra super greatly raised attack and defense all right cool then we'll have kid boo go really doesn't matter and then we'll have frieza go we got at least the 50 percent support 18.3 million attack stat okay this took me about i think six resets to get to this point okay we got it there we go all right, so AGL was able to clear pretty easily, and that was without the Super Saiyan bonus that you can make your unit even more powerful with. But if you do that, you kind of have to compromise on the orb changers and whatnot. So I figured I would ignore that Super Saiyan part of the passive because you get an extra attack and defense plus 7% per orb pickup. I didn't need it. Neither will you. I don't know. Let's move on. All right, we are back with the physical squad. So, you know, GT Super Saiyan Goku had to make an appearance here. We've got Weirus. We've got a 50% Gohan support here. You don't need the 50% support. I'm repeating that again. If you didn't have this guy, you could have just thrown on the Kid Buu. Would have accomplished the same thing, 50% support anyway. So, uh, we got a pretty nice field of orbs here. I think you would all agree. All physical. If I pick up this side, we get 13 physical orbs. If I pick up this side, we get 14 physical orbs. So, I'm going to go with this one. And we want to go after the Int. This guy is specced out for Critical, but even without it, pretty sure we're going to clear this one very easily. So it doesn't really matter what else uh, the other units pick up. So let's just do this. And I think that is another W. So far, we have hit the jackpot on every single one except for Tech. We were very close on it. I got shafted on RNG. Look at that. We got 99 million without the Critical. Got it again so there you go physical is cleared let's move on to the last one all right so we are on the final stage well the same stage but we're on the final team which is str so i've got double piccolo 
I've got the Kaba as the support and orb changer. I've got Bulma for the double turn uh, support. Kid Buu, again, 50% support and Popo. This guy not only supports, but he also nerfs the enemy defense. And my attacking unit is going to be this guy, the Kaioken LR Goku from the seven year anniversary part dos. This guy is tailor made for a critical or not a critical, but a, a nuking attack because he changes his own orbs. He gets extra attack power for an ultra super. And he also has built-in criticals. So this guy, I think, is going to do very, very well. And we've got a nice setup here because with Piccolo, with this first rotation, we're going to have the Bulma do the setup. With the five orb pickup, we have the extra stat bonus. Let me target physical. And then we will do, I think, just this. I think this pretty much clears it. I don't think we're going to be getting any more orbs next turn because next turn we're going to have Kaioken Goku. We're going to have Popo. And we're going to have Kid Buu. But we're going to have double support and defense nerfing. So I don't think we really need to have any sort of orb changing take place. Because I think with what we have, we should be enough. Although the Goku will transform the orbs, like I just mentioned. So we get a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I didn't have Popo. I thought I did. Misread that. Okay. Well, we got the Kid Boo. What sort of stats are we getting from this guy? Z Fighters. What does Z Fighters give us? I think Z Fighters gives us 15. 20. 20% 20 attack. Oh, this guy doesn't give us anything. All right. So we'll just do this. And I think we got it. Yep. 13 orbs picked up. 14 orbs. Okay. So we'll go with this one. This is going to very easily clear. And then we'll have this guy go. And that is a wrap. All missions complete. 26.2. This is actually kind of reminding me of burst mode. When we, we we had this like burst mode glitch on global where we destroyed the enemy with like infinite level attack. I remember taking fatal damage thinking it was over, but the fight just kept going. I was like, wait, what, 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 what's going on? Oh, this takes me back. Good times. You love when Dokkan screws up, don't we? All right, so that clears the board. All five types in and out. We were able to essentially clear all missions on all types. I think if I spent a little bit more time doing the RNG on that first tech team, we could have easily done it. So hopefully you guys are able to run through this. No problem. Again, keep in mind, you don't have to run through this with every single type. I just decided to do that to give you guys more uh, different ways to look at the event. All you really need is a good nuking unit. GT Super Saiyan Goku clears pretty much everything. So if you have that, you're good to go. But whatever unit you do run, hopefully you're able to score 77 and above. I wish you all the best of luck. Look at that. We got all of our missions complete. Let's actually just pick it up. What do we get? There's that ticket. Just by doing the event once, you get this ticket, and that is what matters. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let know in the comments, who is your MVP on this event? Did you run the GT Super Saiyan Goku strat? Did you run Rosé? Did you try somebody else? Was there a sleeper unit that I didn't mention in this video that you really want people to know about? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know we're going to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll show to Dokkan responsibly.